Testing with the home sleep monitor is easy, and this demonstration will show you how to properly attach the sleep monitor before going to bed. First, take the main unit of the monitor out of the case and make sure the abdomen cable is attached as seen here. Then attach the two clips to your shirt collar so the monitor hangs in front of your sternum. Now take one of the rip belts you've been supplied, make sure it is straight around your chest, and snap it firmly on both ends into the pegs on the back of the monitor. Now take the second rip belt you've been supplied, make sure it is straight around your abdomen, and snap it into the pegs behind the small black piece that hangs down from the monitor. These belts will help hold the monitor in place and will also help measure your respiration while you sleep. Now take the nasal cannula that your doctor has provided for you and remove it from the plastic. Place the receptors in your nose and secure it in place by wrapping it around the ears and tightening it around the chin, as shown. The other end of the nasal cannula should plug into the silver port on the side of the monitor with the letters P-R-E-S next to it. Now it is time to attach the electrodes and colored lead wires to measure bruxism. First, take the dual electrode patch and make sure the red and white wires are connected to the snaps. Then take the single electrode patch and make sure the green wire is attached. To find your masseter muscle, which is your chewing muscle, feel the side of your cheek near where your jaw is hinged and bite down in order to feel where the masseter muscle flares most prominently. Place the dual electrode patch with the red and white wires attached vertically along this muscle and press it down so it sticks firmly. Now feel behind your ear and place the single electrode patch with the green wire on the bony part of your head behind your ear where you can't feel any muscle at all. Make sure both electrode patches are firmly attached. Ensure that the lead wires are plugged into the appropriate ports on your monitor. The red and white wires should be plugged into channel 1 as shown. The green wire should always be plugged into the bottom port next to the letters P, G, and D. The positive and negative ports for channel 2 will remain empty. As mentioned previously, the nasal cannula should be plugged firmly into the silver port that reads P-R-E-S. Now you will put on the pulse oximeter. Strap the pulse oximeter to your wrist as shown. Slide the finger probe over the tip of either your index or middle finger. When you have completed attaching everything, the setup should look something like this. Now it's time to start recording. Press the middle button on the monitor to turn it on. The screen should say, Hold down middle button to start recording. Hold down the middle button and you will see a progress bar move from the left to the right side of the screen. Once it goes all the way to the right, the screen will say recording duration and you will see a timer counting seconds. If you do not see this, then you didn't hold the button down long enough and the recording didn't start. When you have confirmed that the recording has started, you will go to sleep. After a couple minutes of recording, the monitor's display will go blank to conserve battery but it will still be recording. To stop the recording when you wake up in the morning, press the middle button once to wake the display from rest mode and you should see the recording duration again. Press and hold the middle button and you'll see the progress bar move from left to right again and when it has reached the right side, the recording will stop. When you have finished testing, return the monitor, pulse oximeter, and all other supplies to the case and return it to your doctor who will review your results and discuss with you how to proceed if diagnosis or treatment is needed. Good luck!